Run! Yes, These guys will be getting fucked over. Yes, my lord. Where are there you are there? Run! Get out of the way real quick. Go go! Hold the cannon things, whatever. Oh shit. Like it's But yeah, you did in the Dark Crusade when you can when it came to the Necrons you didn't have much of a choice. You were forced to be on edge all the time, as you and, well, those guys are not doing very well. Go go bolters and all that shit. Christ's sake. Uh, some grenades would be fucking fantastic right now. If you ask me. Oh. Boom. I guess. But yeah, you didn't have much of a choice. You were forced to... We are the Emperor's children. Well, you were forced to be on edge yes, all the time Lord because you Emperor couldn't afford all the good shit right away. Oh, for fuck's sake, none of these things? Christ's sake. And I was hoping for less of that shit. Can I? No, I can't just grenade smoke. Well, great. Yeah, scrap broke, great. Can I get any upgrades? Can you get power if you get that song? Uh, but in this one, we it's not so much, to be honest. Stay vigilant, brothers. You aren't... The whole Awaiting being on orders. edge, orders not so much. Orders. I'd say At it's much e a lot Harrison easier in this one than one minute the other. Until taken hold victory. But then again, that's just me. Yes, my lord. And uh, I've been yes, proven wrong before, but still. In this game, it's. I'd say the Necron uh, stronghold is rather easy. A lot easier than the old in the Dark Crusade. Ah, <sighs> I guess that's because the map was way bigger and. Uh, 30 seconds and uh, until you were forced down a linear path with a lot of shit in the way. And you were attacked right off the bat. In this one... No, you're not attacked right off the bat. And you can't... Unlike in the Dark Crusade. Yes, my lord. Basically. Oh crap, I get... And in, in this one, you can't... You can get... If you to defeat the Sisters of Battle, which is way easier than the... Defeating the Orcs or the Tau in that... Uh, thing in my barber that... I had trouble with it in the Doctor said I'm not sure, I can't quite remember, but if I actually did that too much, but still, you were forced to have a set number of troops and you had to fight the orcs or the tower and destroy the buildings and shit like, <coughs> sorry guys, like that. And I have really low frames per second for some reason now. It's getting better, slightly, okay, it's not very better, what the hell. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh, okay. For some reason, I have low frames per second. For some reason, that's odd. Oh, well, I'm just gonna get some more space marines right there. And um, but yeah, in in this game, you don't. Unlike in the Dark Crusade, you don't get attacked right away, and you aren't attacked in waves like you did in the. Dark Crusade. You're not forced, too much forced to survive on a few control points. Not that you need it. Uh, in this game, you don't even need to survive on a few control points. <sighs> Probably just gonna go with the attacking their stronghold right away. I guess troop recovery. <laughs> Not that I need it since I'm pretty much storm steamrolling everything. But well. Get all this shit. I can't get my deep strike units for some reason. Oh well. It may never be known what first awakened the cold <coughs> legions of the Necron from their vast burial vaults in the southern coast of Karava 3. 
archives suggest that Imperial Guard survey crews may have been dispatched to coastal Imosa several months before the conflict. Others point to the strange and unknown influence of the Warp Storm, which could somehow have roused the deathless Necrons from their slumber. Out of the dry Imosan sands, an ancient complex emerged. Part burial ground, part power plant, part staging ground. As builder scarabs removed sands and restored structures to power, its clean-cut symmetrical and lifeless form emerged. It pulsed with the green glow of the strange power which fuels the Necrons. Vast reserves of it. Enough to drive an endless stream of monoliths and Necron soldiers. Anyone foolish enough to assail this unearthed necropolis would do well to heed that flow of energy. It is the source of the Necron's power, and if unchecked, there is little limit to what strength Necrons could marshal against their foes. That this last little line is pre pretty much explains the whole goddamn stronghold, what you have to do, basically. You can either attack the middle point and take out the, that power plant from the start, but that thing is heavily fucking defended. I tried that once with... Not... I didn't... I wasn't prepared for that kind of shit, basically, that kind of punishment. And it could have... Gone pretty badly if, if I didn't make a quick. Re if it wasn't for the fact that I made a quick recovery, and and then won, but still. And that um, I pretty pretty much just po pointed out another flaw in the whole bloody thing. Since I was able to recover, really, uh, make a quick recovery, I won anyway. So they come. And somehow teleporting that makes a lot of sense, I guess. Right. Hmm. Lovely. Yeah. But anyway, as I said, since I made a I somehow managed to uh, make a, a quick recovery, and I, I think I was playing as basement at the time. I give you mm, no, wait, I was playing as Eldor, but, uh, but anyway, I was attacking at that thing right there, and I got my shit hand, my ass handed to me, basically. It didn't go well, I didn't even penetrate the defenses, and if you ask, they have a lot more than actually show right there. Or they showed right there. They don't only have those turrets and all that. They have a lot of troops surrounding that thing. They're not just those uh, warrior thingies, whatever they're called. They have a lot of shits, basically. So, pretty much every time I try to go for their outer points. They appear to be drawing power from the center. My aim shall not for. falter. Excellent work. Yeah. That area is supplying power that is used to upgrade their capabilities. Under it fire. is mission critical that we prevent these monoliths from victory. being fully restored, which means we will need to cut off their power. This is the Go, go, grenades and everything else, I guess. Boom. Uh, but yeah, I would. Even if they manage to get. Unless they get to, like, tier. As you see here, I have a timer just like in the towel. It's the towel thingy. And. Whenever that uh, time runs out, their shit gets upgraded. And as you see, they have four bases. Every time that shit gets upgraded, the shit becomes harder. And by harder, I mean they start the waves they send becomes well. They start sending harder shit to kill, basically. And after maybe I'm not sure if this wave 
uh, tier 2 or tier 3, but at some point they sen start sending those uh, tomb uh, spider thingies, whatever.